Hello, hit film viewers. Today we're going to talk about matte transitions. And the reason this came up is I was viewing some YouTube videos and looking at all the different kinds of transitions that come with other nonlinear editors and uh, the fact that in, there are some transitions for sale that are plugins. And the reality is that one can create your own transitions using generally available tools, with, and it's pretty easy. So I thought I'd make a tutorial to show people how to do that. So open up your uh, editing software, your image editing software. I'm gonna be using Photoshop, and we'll go ahead and get started. First thing to do is to make a, a new image screen, and we're gonna make a, a transition that uses circles. And so we're going to want to come over and choose um, the ellipse tool. So we're going to make a, a nice size circle. And we're going to have the fill of that circle be a, a dark gray. So I'm going to come over to my color picker and, and choose, say, 85% gray. And the next thing we're going to do is create another circle. And we're going to start from the beginning uh, again in the in the center. And I'm going to hit Shift and Alt so that I do get a circle. And this one we're going to fill with a slightly less gray color. And then we're going to make another circle. Again, we're going to start from the center and pull that one out. And this one we're going to fill with white. Here we have our transition. I've made a, a, a one that was previously just like that. You can make larger outlines if you want. But the idea behind this is that we're going to create a map that we can use to change the transparency of one piece of, clip, of footage um, and use this as a transition to a second piece. So then go ahead and save the image so that you can bring it into HitFilm. Create a new project. So I come to my editor. I brought in a, a couple of uh, video elements so that we can look at that. But So the first thing we want to do is uh, create a new composite shot. Um, and that's a, an easy thing to do. We're just going to go ahead and click the new button here, new composite shot. We're going to make it 1080p, and we can leave it 30 seconds because that's that's all right for us right now. And now we're going to bring our circles PNG into that layer, and we're going to manipulate that circles PNG because this is what's going to create our transition. We're going to use luminance keying to um, basically key out portions of the video over time using this particular image. So the first thing we want to do is create some keyframes in this because we're going to scale it. So let's go down to the transform uh, property of circles. We're going to hit the scale and create a keyframe. And at the beginning, we want this actually to basically disappear in the middle of our image. So there's our keyframe there, scaling zero. And let's move down the timeline to about, oh, let's make it uh, three and a half. Let's make it four seconds. We'll go back a couple of frames here, make it exactly four seconds, and we'll create another keyframe and increase till the white circle actually encompasses the whole frame. So let's go to the beginning of our timeline in the composite shot and let's see what that looks like. So our image grows up, the white expands until it fills the whole frame. Perfect. Now what we want to do is we want to compete, complete, or create a new composite shot. Just click OK. And in that composite shot, we want to actually bring in our composite shot number one. And quite frankly, we don't need to see that. So we're going to click the eyeball to shut it off. And just to show how this works, let's go ahead and bring in a couple of videos. So I'm going to bring in scuba and surfing. And Scooby, you can see, doesn't fill our frame. So let's go ahead and expand it out till it does. Perfect. And surfing is the same size, 720p. Expand it out till it fills the frame. Okay, now how we get this to work. Let's go to our effects and search for the set matte effect. And here we see the set matte effect. I'm going to apply that effect 
to the scuba layer. If we go under fa uh, effects in the set bad effect, we see that there's a request for a source layer, and our source layer is going to be our composite number one. And right away you see the image has changed because at the beginning, our transition that we created in composite one is all black. And so it's basically hiding the layer that it's been attached to and showing the layer below. And then as time goes on, the white circle expands out to encompass the whole frame. So then we'll be seeing all of the scuba video and none of the surfing video. So let's start from the very beginning of this composite shot and let's see what it looks like. There's the transition. Okay, that's how to do it. In fact, you can create all kinds of, of elements to create different kinds of transitions if you like. Um, you can use moving arrows as I did in the intro. You can create various kinds of wipes. All it takes is simply creating images and potentially animating them uh, with black and white and using luminance key. Very simple. You can make as complex ones as you like. Have fun with this technique. Have a great day.